meal preparation and the importance of doing it. If you are undertaking any one of my training routines and you don't meal prep, pause this video, go away, you're in the wrong place. Meal prep is my... Let me tell you a little secret about me, okay? Sunday is the most important day for me, for my training. I'm off to my local supermarket, I'm grabbing my, you know, my weekly shop, and this is what my Sunday usually looks like. I've got my five dinners, one, two, three, four, five. I've got my five lunches, one, two, three, four, five. And I've got my five snacks. If I know I've left the house with one of these in my bag every single day, I am not going to be tempted to go to the shop and buy some some silliness. You know what I mean? You, we all know what it's like. We all know what it's like. Come on, we've all been there. We've all been tempted to just go to the shop, local supermarket, sometimes McDonald's, sometimes KFC, whatever it might be, whatever your fancy is. Um, are they any good for us? Probably not. And unless you're doing it on cheat day, it's probably not wise. So you are better off meal planning. Now, here's some tips for you when it comes to meal planning. Okay, let me just grab two things really quick. The first is understanding your meal prep. Okay? When you are meal prepping, Making sure that it fits into your container is very, very important. If it's filled with the right stuff, if you want to know what you should be eating for dinner, check out my dinner video. You want to know what you should be eating for breakfast? Check out my breakfast video. Want to know what you should be eating for snacks? Check out the videos and the lunches, so on and so on. However, meal prepping itself, okay, getting everything into the right containers and understanding meal prep. It's not as simple as just preparing the meal. If you were me right now, maybe you wouldn't even know, well, I've got all these meals, and now what's next? So the way it works is you get your five meals made, okay? The quickest way to do it, if I'm honest, throw everything in the oven, throw everything on boil, and, and then just cook it, just get it done, okay? Once it's done, prep it. Put it into the, into the boxes, and then once that's done, this is where you stand. When I come off the video, this is what happens, okay? I take Monday and I put it in the fridge. I take Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, stick it in the freezer. Tomorrow, when I wake up, I will take the next day out. Tuesday, off I go. Fridge replacement. First thing in the morning. So it's the way I start my day, right? Up, take Tuesday out, leave them in the fridge, off I go. The one that doesn't go in the fridge, probably just leave it in the, um, sorry, that doesn't go in the freezer, you just leave it in the fridge, is your snacks. Because as you can see, my snacks like carrot sticks and hummus, rice cakes and peanut butter, olives, thin crisps, vegan crisps, and some fruit salads, okay? So, those you don't, obviously you wouldn't put that in the freezer, right? So, use common sense. But obviously at the same time, the ones that do need to be frozen, make sure it's frozen. And it keeps you disciplined, right? It keeps you really disciplined. You don't have to do any more cooking for the week. Maybe if you want to treat yourself to a little dinner or something, you can do that, okay? But let's face it, you've got that discipline. And when you are trying to take on any of my training routines, you need discipline. You need solid discipline. I need to wake up. I need to train. I need to eat right. I need to do it correctly. And meal prepping is discipline. If you leave the house with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you are gonna eat Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. If you leave the house with just Monday, you're gonna eat just Monday, okay? And even if you don't need to carry dinner with you, you still take it out of the freezer and you leave it in the fridge. So when you get home, you know what's for dinner. It's not like you have to quickly ring a takeout and get something stupid for dinner. And that is what makes meal prepping so important. If it's done, it's done. It's out of the way. You don't have to think about it and you don't have to make any mistakes. Carry some extras, okay? We all get hungry. We all get, you know, your body starts screaming when you train, okay? So I'm not saying, I've got two, what have I got here? Three rice cakes, yeah? Um, 
If I ate three rice cakes, I'd probably still be hungry from breakfast to lunch, okay? I'm not gonna lie, I'd still be hungry, okay? So do carry extras. What I tend to do is I don't leave my house without one of these every single day. This is also part of my meal prep. On Sunday, I boil nine eggs and I carry two with me religiously. I don't always eat the two eggs, but I always carry them with me religiously because maybe just before I have my lunch, I might have an egg with it, okay? It's just, it's, it's just something that I do. And I'm telling you to try to do exactly the same thing. Meal prep, but do carry an extra bit of protein just to help you get through because once you start training, your body, you rip your body apart, you rip your muscles apart. They need extra protein. So do carry something that you don't mind eating that's extra protein so that it can get you through to lunch, okay? And that is pretty much everything you need to know about meal prepping. I'm not a nutritionist, this is just something that I live by day to day. The only problem with meal prepping is, as you can see, I only do five days. And the reason why is on the sixth day, I have a cheat day, which is what I'm going to do a video about next, okay? It's about what you should eat on your cheat day or what I eat on my cheat day and the importance of a cheat day. But that's all you need to know about meal prepping. Make sure if you are training with me, you are meal prepping and check out all the rest of my next videos. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you in the next one.